talking about the NBA team. What do you want me to say, bitch? <laughs> Go all out. But okay, uh, on my birthday, my birthday is Memorial Day weekend. Uh-huh. On my birthday, I seen them all at Dre's, like this one team. Okay. <laughs> She's so shy. It's just so cute, <laughs> I know, baby. I it. And Bro. I don't know. I was getting fucked in a hotel room. They all pulled up, <laughs> and I sucked their. But the mic down. The whole team. Seven. Seven basketball players in a row. Mm-hmm. How was that? <laughs> I was fucked oh up. God. I didn't fuck any of them though. She said. Sounded... What happened to the nuts? Swallowed. All of them. Yeah. And nothing happened? You didn't have like a, a weird reaction in your stomach or anything? No, no, I passed this out. That sounds so fun. You're, you're mo- almost making it sound like you were too fucked up to be sucking seven dicks. Now this is what these liberals and these feminists and society won't tell you. You cannot find liberation through your genitals. You cannot find liberation through your vagina. That is ridiculous. I can't find liberation through my penis. My penis is something used to have sex with. It has absolutely nothing to, oh, and to urinate with. It has absolutely nothing to do with liberation. This whole notion that you can liberate yourself through using your vagina is detrimental and is foolish because your liberation comes from your character. This is what liberates you. But why am I even saying this? Y'all gonna say I'm bashing, but I'm gonna say it again anyway. Your vagina cannot liberate you. Your character is what liberates you, not your vagina. See, they, they get you to put your ass in your titties, you know, all out, all over the place, see? It didn't used to be that way. See, being the sexy, cute tomboy used to be the way. And then Biggie Smalls came in with Jessica Rabbit, Lil' Kim. What I find interesting is that for the past 25 years, everybody's been trying to be Lil' Kim, and all Lil' Kim was a figment of Biggie's imagination. He figured all men probably get off on the same shit that I do. We can make a lot of money. And now everybody wants to be this archetype. It wasn't until Little Kim that sex played a factor in whether or not a woman got signed. Yeah, so does crack. Nigga, <laughs> that's really fun. So when you get on social media, and say you're having sex with a guy, and say you've been messing with multiple guys on the team, and then seven guys come in as you're having sex with a guy, and then you give all of them head, and they all give you a throat, baby, and then 10 years from now, you're gonna have the audacity to say, I want a good man. That's not how it works. I'm trying to figure out how'd you swallow seven different men's semen and you didn't get, damn. She literally said she swallowed seven different man semen. That's the girl you take on Fear Factor. Remember Fear Factor? That's the girl you take on Fear Factor. Damn. And this is what we'll be serving. Donkey semen. Oh, oh my God. No. And urine. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Go. Oh. <laughs> Look at her yeah. go. You're burping it up. Just for the You're girls. Just for the girls. Oh, you can't do it. You it's can't do it. Pink. Bryn's almost done. Just walk right now. Done. Bryn's done. <laughs> Bryn's done. It's all on you, Claire. Come on. Finish it. Get over with you. Claire, you are a savage. Congratulations. Wow. God. Oh, that was the hardest thing I ever had to watch. Can Listen. I puke now? Yes, you can puke now. You girls are awesome. You girls are monsters. <laughs> Even that guy over there is impressed with you. She would never lose a fear factor competition seven guys seven guys and here goes the outrageous part of it all do you know how easy it would be for her to holler rape do you know how easy it would be for her to holler rape and it all be a lie everybody would believe that this young lady got raped by eight guys everybody would believe her and it would be a whole entire lie and this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about with a lot of women doing stuff like this and then they have what I call buyer's remorse. They do it and then they feel bad about what they did and then instead of looking in the mirror and correcting their behavior, looking inside of who they really are, looking why they operating from insecurities and trauma, what they do is they say, I'm going to blame the guy. And they go and put a false accusation on a guy.
almost making it sound like you were too fucked up to be sucking seven dicks. And also, you were getting no. fucked by somebody else right before this? Yeah, they walked in <laughs> mid me getting fucked. How did they walk the in? Where were you? In the hotel room. So I was fucking like someone that works with the team. And I know I know that team because I've hooked up with them before. The whole but they team. all pulled up. No, not the whole team. <laughs> okay. Like a few of them. They all just pulled up. They knew I was in there and they were like, let's get lit. And they were just sitting around the bed and they just rotated. Wow. And no, I'm not saying women don't get abused. And no, I'm not saying women don't get raped. And no, I'm not saying that women don't get sexually assaulted. What I am saying is if this young lady had a holler rape, all of y'all would have believed her. If this young lady had a holler rape, all of y'all would have believed her because you all would have said there's no way she would have gave head to seven men. That's what you all would have said. You all would have said there's no way she had to have been forced. She had to have been drugged because in your rational mind, y'all can't rationalize a woman doing this of her own free will. You know, and we're the ones who got all over the newspapers and television, the Rockefeller Foundation. He says, and you want to know why? He says there were two primary reasons. And they were one reason was we couldn't tax half the population before women's live. And the second reason was, now we get the kids in school at an early age. We can indoctrinate the kids how to think, which breaks up their family. The, the kids start looking at the state as the family, as the school, as the officials, as their family, not as the parents teaching them. In the future, she's going to want a good guy. She's going to want the guy that she can raise a family with. She's going to want the good guy, and she's going to expect every good guy that she thinks is a candidate to just erase the fact that she gave head to seven men and got seven throat babies. There you go. You're doing great. With. You're on pace. Oh, you're on hold pace. it. You're hold it. Great. You're great. Great. Get through it. Get through it. One more go and you're done. One more go and you're done. One more you go. You got it. Congratulations. Good job, guys. What was that like? It was just like the consistency of it and like the taste. I was not expecting it. It was like a. Like someone's been eating a lot of hay? Like someone's been eating a hell of a lot of hay. I haven't even seen a, a porn star do that. I haven't even seen a porn star swallow seven throat babies. What in the world is going on? Ladies, you cannot find liberation through your vagina. Ladies, you cannot find liberation through giving head. <laughs> Many of you all have been tricked. You are not being liberated. You are being used as a sex object. Men are using you as a sex object. I mean, if a man has been around and, and he's a hoe, especially like the ones I'm talking about that hopping from here, here, and there, they have a lot of practice and they know a woman's body, they know the power of their penis, and they know how to soothe her body and to soothe her vagina. So it's really easy to be caught up with that dog kind of man. Like that one girl asked me why she thought something was wrong with her because she liked the flashy guys with the jewelry. I said, there's nothing wrong with liking a flashy man. You just have to know what type of spirit and energy he's carrying. Because there are some good men, although they still like to flash, they're not whores. They don't give their penis to everybody. You have to be able to recognize them because the man that is living to ejaculate, he's in a predator mode. And when a man is in a predator mode, he's going to look for the weaknesses of a woman, a woman that's, that's lonely. Her vagina is cold. She's laying in bed at night playing with her toys. Or she's got a man beside her. He's a good provider. But he's not hitting the walls and working the middle like that dog that she having that sneaky well, sex pushing. with. But you are not being liberated. You are literally being used as a sex object. That means when a guy looks at you, he's seeing a nut. Do you understand that? That's not liberation. That is oppression, that is bondage that you are placing yourself in. And now her mind, she insane. Her mind ain't good because the penis done ejaculated all in her brain. She's gone crazy. So you don't let every man hit your bottom and your body remembers it. Just like a man will put a woman over doggy style or maybe get a mirror or something. Then they start hitting that woman from the back or on her back. They hitting her. Then they start talking. They start saying all kind of stuff to her while they're hitting her. And see, that woman is being seduced. She being seduced. He breaking her down, man. He's, he is screwing her into submission.
He's screwing her into slavery by using the penis as a weapon to break her ass down. And, and her defenses, I mean, she wide open with a penis all up in your vagina, man. You don't have no defenses. Imagine I'm having sex with a woman. Eight of her friends come in and I eat all eight of them out. I eat all eight of them out. I come up with the with the milk mustache. I eat all eight of them out. I come up with a yeast infection around my mouth. All kind of bread crumbs and, and biscuit batter all around my mouth. Uh, my cream is so good. It's nice and sweet. Wow, this is some nice vittles here. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Oh my God, that was so delicious. I can totally taste the cake batter in the cream. Wow. There is no self-respecting woman out there that's going to see me admit that on camera. That's going to see me tell the world that I ate out seven women at one time. No self-respecting woman is going to respect me at all. Little nasty! That will be a black cloud that hangs over my head forever. That will be a black cloud of yeast that hangs over my head forever. We talking about swapping vagina juice with my mouth. You can't find liberation through your vagina and through your penis. Sex is not liberation. Just because you have sex, that doesn't mean you're free. Do you understand that? There's a such thing as a sex slave. These people get forced to have sex. They're not free. Sex does not liberate you. What liberates you is your character. What liberates you is your mindset and your thinking. That's what liberates you. It's not having sex. Dogs have sex. Cats have sex. From the top, make it drop, that's some wet, that's some wet. And I get a bucket and a mop, that's some wet, that's some wet. I'm talking wop, 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 that's some wet, that's some wet. Macaroni in a pot, that's some wet, that's some wet. Huh. But ladies, if you must, if you must find liberation or think you're going to find liberation through your vagina and through your mouth, just make sure you don't share it with the world. Where were you? In the hotel room. So I was fucking like someone that works with the team. And I know, I know that team because I've hooked up with them before. The but they team. all pulled up. No, not the whole team. <laughs> okay. Like a few of them. They all just pulled up. They knew I was in there and they were like, let's get lit. And they were just sitting around the bed and they just rotated. Wow. Yeah. That's tight. Yo, they all love you. So you don't Told look back. Do you look back at this as a positive memory? Yeah, I don't care. It was lit. Hell yeah. Wait for free blast. Get money. Go.